Bob Newhart made the claim that he was my closest friend. I have never met Bob Newhart. <laughs> I'll put it to you another way. Bob Newhart goes to many gay parties. I like you very much, Tully. I like you more than I thought I would like you. Please sit down, because we could be married in an hour. That's what's in your heart, right, Sam? Be proud. Brothers, we kiss, we hug. Uh, any black on my lips? <laughs> Don't write letters, folks. We cover them all. My first guest, our new ambassador to the UN, this year's poster child for rabies, would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> I'm not going on. Come back. <laughs> what an evening, Mike. It's so Isn't good to see you. I didn't know you were still on. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is a good jacket. You come in tomorrow night with cotton candy, you work the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, uh, could I say something since I've seen you? Please don't. Gotten so old. <laughs> 19 years, John. That's right. Don't milk it anymore. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, Holly. Well, you see... See, I, I, I try to do one show for a long time rather than six or seven like you for a month or two, and then... <laughs> no, no. No, no. When you're that big, you're allowed to turn on a little guy <laughs> who lives in two rooms on Figueroa with a busted accordion. <laughs> Look right in there and let America know you're a millionaire and you don't need them. Right. <laughs> I'm a millionaire. I don't need... No, don't do that. Don't do that to me. But, but now we're both happily married. Absolutely. You went through a couple of warm-ups, but... Uh... I want to tell you something as a friend. Really? Yes. With these two lovely Japanese girls, you made a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I do it a couple of minutes? No! 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 no. Just no give me fun. a break. I'm so lonely. <laughs> you know you never liked me. What? You never liked me. You like Newhart better than me. You always did. You finally dragged it out of me, didn't you? <laughs> I'll do the funny Thank stuff. Thank you, of course. Uh, when? I don't... <laughs> Nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy act. I'll tell you something. If we work together again, so help me, I'm going to the VA, and I'm going to be asked to be sent back to Vietnam. Where's <laughs> over there? But I'm going to just stay there in the jungle and, and blacken my face so nobody finds me. I never want to see you again, we just really don't come around anymore. The voice is weak. You stink. <laughs> You're not good, you stink. And stay out of my life, bitches. And keep that AM show off. I never I never want to see you again. Boil Who's your favorite male singer? Honest? Yeah. Dick Haynes. Everybody around couldn't believe I had the macaroons to say this to me. And I did. And when I came home, my cousin was on a hook in the living room. No. <laughs> Marco Mangananzo was hurt. <laughs> Marco Mangananzo? Trombino Bombazzo. <laughs> Two bullets in the head Thursday. <laughs> I've had a few. But then again. I was eating dinner in a restaurant in New York, and he came over to the table and he said, Frank, do me a favor, will you? He said, I'm sitting with a very pretty girl, and uh, I'm trying to make out, you know? And he said, I told her I know you, and she really doesn't believe me. Would you stop by the table? I said, all right. I was just about finished, and I walked by the table, and I said, how are you, Don? Nice to see you. He said, can't you see I'm eating, Frank? What are you doing? <laughs> You're 64 years old, Frank. I'm a friend. I've been listening to all the people. You look at Frank. <laughs> It's all over, Frank. It's gone. Everybody doesn't have to be funny all the time. And Don proved it again tonight. <laughs> Whenever you see me, just don't stop to chat. Frank, wait a second. Oh, oh, Frank, don't walk out. I'm just starting to go. Give me a break, Frank. <laughs> 
way you jump all over me for me. Jump all over me. Right. Ideally, for me. And I tell you, we have been blessed to have such a man. Good night. I say something wrong? You're supposed to say I should have known better. I'm sorry. <laughs> For the kind of money you're making, what's, read the what's, card. <laughs> Learn the thing. You gotta pop out for it. Sit in there and study. <laughs> with your method acting, with the breathing and the bullshit. <laughs> Do the lines and let's get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've had your rabies shots because here he comes, Mr. Don Rickles. <laughs> this is who we honoring. Uh, <laughs> I look around the room and I realize now, aside from Clint Eastwood, I'm the biggest name here. <laughs> now, I kid around about people. I got a reputation. Ricardo Montalban, a good friend. You know this. I got a reputation of being, like Newsweek said, the merchant of venom, destroys stars. You people in the back, this is not true. I love people, really. Ricardo, why do I kid you? Why? Because I don't like you. <laughs> Tell you out there, America, our governor is dumb. <laughs> said to me when Governor Reagan or Regan, whatever they call you, <laughs> I don't care. Orson Welles, uh, ladies and gentlemen, has been a great star for so many years. Uh, this man was married to a great many women in his life. They're all flat now. Marty, when we see all the films you did, none of them were great. <laughs> De Niro is sitting there. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. King in 90, lay down. <laughs> What's this, London? <laughs> I must be honest. I never liked Lucille Ball. I never did. I've seen Kirk in many, many movies. And I say from the bottom of my heart as an actor, he is weak. <laughs> Julia Roberts, you live next to me at the beach. You know that. I'm living about two blocks from you. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. We're closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. <laughs> anyway. Uh... My wife told me to be polite this evening. By the way, she'd be with us tonight, my lovely wife, Barbara, but unfortunately, she swam in our pool today with her jewelry on and drowned. There's no booing, there's no booing. If there's another outburst, we're gonna let Bob Hope get up and do his joke. You're gonna be with Dave. <laughs> You're sitting there like you are a Monsignor in, in Chicago or something. She's laying in bed with the jewelry, signaling ships. <laughs> what do you do? You sit in the farm and watch a bird die. And every time we made love, she started a whistle. You were great, though, boy. You're, like a, you're like a little mouse in a state prison. <laughs> if he was alive, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd be out here with wheels on my ass sitting like this. <laughs> I didn't know if I stooped or made tea. I'm saying she's a, a lovely woman. She is. She used to be a hooker for the FBI. No, she... Pass me my pants. I'm a Jew in Idaho for the corn convention. <laughs> I think I can get to that tree. What do you want me to do? Drop my pants and fire a rocket? 